Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be evaluating the sum of two radicals with complex numbers. If you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. We have the cube root of 2 plus 11i plus the cube root of 2 minus 11i and we're going to evaluate this as a numerical expression. Now, when I say the cube root, of course, a complex number has three cube roots, but we are talking about the principal cube root. What is that supposed to mean? Well, when you take the cube root, as you know, those numbers are spread out evenly on the circle, right? It's usually the first one. Or is it always the first one? Maybe. So... I'll be presenting at least two methods, and let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm gonna go ahead and try to find the cube root of two plus 11i. And to find it, oops, I wrote it backwards. To find it, I'm gonna set it equal to another complex number because as you know, or you should know, the cube root of a complex number can also be written as a complex number. And what is the name of this channel? If you said a plus bi, you got it. So we can set it equal to a plus bi. And then let's go ahead and square, I mean cube both sides. We're used to squaring both sides, right? When you cube both sides, you're gonna get the cube of a plus bi. And one thing I want you to notice, maybe I'll talk about it later. Let's go ahead and expand this first. What is a plus bi to the third power? I usually use a identity for this, something like uh, this. I cube the first term, I cube the second term. So I cube the first term, and then I cube the second term, which is b cubed i cubed, and then I do 3abi, and I multiply it by a plus bi. So it's the same thing as using the formula or the binomial theorem, uh, it's just written differently. i cubed is negative i, so we can write as a cubed minus b cubed i, or i b cubed. And when we distribute this, that gives us 3a squared bi, and i squared is going to give us negative 1, so that's going to be minus 3ab squared. Now, if you go ahead and put the real parts together, a cubed and 3ab squared, an imaginary part is just going to be 3a squared b minus b cubed, and this is supposed to equal 2 plus 11i, because when we cube it, you know, we get what's inside okay cool now what do you get from here this is supposed to be 2 this is supposed to be 11 so that's what we're going to try to solve as a system our goal is to find the values of a and b and once we find them we can write our number a plus bi which is the cube root of 2 plus 11i you get the idea okay cool now let's go ahead and write this down this is a cubic system and moreover it's a homogeneous one. Uh-oh, notability going crazy again. And it's equal to 11. So to be able to solve the system, first notice that it's homogeneous, so we can change the variable. In other words, I can replace b with a times something or a with uh, b times something, which, whichever one you like, it doesn't really matter, no big deal. But I think I'm going to go with a equals b t, okay? It's going to replace a with bt. That's going to give me b cubed t cubed. Minus here, I'm going to get bt multiplied by b squared. That's going to be b cubed t. 3b cubed t equals 2. And then here, a squared is going to be b squared t squared. But that's going to be 3b cubed. And then there's going to be a t that comes from here. Minus b cubed t cubed. You got it? Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and divide these. Because... When we factor out b cubed, it cancels out. Look, we'll factor out b cubed. And it's still going to be 2 over 11. b cubed cancels out. We know that b is not 0 because if b is 0, then our number becomes just a, which is a real number, but that's not the case. So from here, we should get a cubic equation. Let's cross multiply. 11t cubed minus 33t equals 6t minus 2t cubed. And I'm putting everything on the same side. Well, it's kind of like an easy equation, right? An equation that is easy to solve. 
let's put um, put these together 13 t cubed equals 39 t and then from here we can basically divide by 13 that's going to give us a 3 here t cubed equals 3 t so t cubed minus 3 t equals 0 and then we can factor out a t that will give us t squared minus 3 from here t equals 0 t equals root 3 and t equals negative root 3 okay if we didn't make any mistakes <laughs> this I'm not exactly sure about this, but uh, maybe we did. Who knows? Let's double check. Uh, 60 minus 2t cubed, 11t cubed minus 33. Yeah, that looks good to me. Um, let me... Anyways, let's just find out. We're going to check our answers anyway at the end. So a equals bt. Now, that means if we go with the positive solution, a equals root 3t. And we can kind of take one of these equations and substitute like a cubed minus 3a b squared equals 2 and now we're going to replace a with root 3t if a is root 3t we're going to have to cube it and then multiply by oops b was supposed to be wait a minute that's not right what am i talking about okay what is t t a equals bt okay a should be b times t so root 3b I mean that's what I meant <laughs> okay I don't know where the t came from um, if you do that 3 a cubed minus 3ab squared equals 2 now we're going to replace uh, a with root 3b root 3b for a and then this should give us 3 root 3b cubed minus 3 root 3b cubed equals 2, 0 equals 2, false. So there's a mistake. Let's go back and fix it. There should be something else. Okay, let's go ahead and try to fix this. Uh, let me see. This should be correct. a cubed minus 3ab squared, 3a squared b. Okay, that looks good to me. And that should equal 2 plus 11i. This is 2 and that is 11. Okay, let me check this work. We're going to place a with b cubed, b cubed, t cubed, and then minus... Uh, Okay, I think this is where uh, 3 times bt times b squared. That's going to be 3b cubed t. That's also correct. Okay, 3a squared. a squared is going to be 3 times b squared t squared times b. That's 3b cubed t squared. Here we go. We're supposed to get a t squared here. That's why. Okay. And then b cubed is, uh, or b cubed is just b cubed. What am I talking about? Okay, this is two mistakes. Okay, let's fix this too. So now we can go ahead and factor out the b and fix it. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cut this part so you'll get to see the mistake. I know some people don't like it, but too bad. So now we're, we're gonna factor out a b cubed again, t cubed minus three t over b cubed three t squared minus one. Okay, that's what we're supposed to get. Because we're supposed to have the terms in a cubic, it's not supposed to be like an easy cubic. So these two cancel out, leaving us with 11t cubed minus 33t equals 6t squared minus 2. And let's put everything on the same side. 11t cubed minus 6t squared minus 33t plus 2 equals 0. And then from here, whatever you do, you can use the, like you can depress the cubic, solve it, or just use the rational rule theorem. Because I expect to get something nice from here so what does the rational root theorem say it says that factors of 2 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 divided by factors of 11 plus minus 1 plus minus 11 all these combinations should give us a possible root for example 1 over 1 1 over 11 negative 1 over 11 2 over 11 2 over 1 why don't we test and you probably noticed that um, 1 over 11 is probably not going to work because that's i don't think that's a fraction what about t equals 1? First of all, check 1 because that's the easiest. 13, oh, the sum of coefficients don't work. What about the odds and evens? This is negative 22. Nope, that doesn't work either. So t does not equal plus minus 1. We know that. So why don't we try 2 and negative 2 maybe, or 2 and 1 half? If t equals 2, 
That'll be 11 times 8 minus 6 times 4 minus 33 times 2 plus 2. That's going to be 88 minus 24 minus 66 plus 2. That is like an 90. This is 90 and that's 0. Yay, Houston, we got a solution. T equals 2 works. Great. That means A equals 2T. 2T or not 2T. If you're a tutor, you kind of make a decision, right? So A equals 2T. And then now what we can do is, you know, wait, did I say A equals 2T? No, A equals 2B, I mean. I don't know why I keep, keep getting stuck on that one. A equals 2B. Oh, yes. 2B or not 2B. Yay. So now we can go ahead and use one of these equations again. Uh, whichever one you like. A cubed minus 3AB squared is equal to 2. Now I'm going to replace A with 2B. 8B cubed minus, if you replace with 2B, it's going to be 6B cubed equals 2. 2B cubed equals 2. And B cubed equals 1. Awesome. And we know that in reals, this has one solution. B equals 1. Awesome. Which means A equals 2. Which means the cube root of 2 plus 11i is 2 plus i. Wait a minute. You found it, but what about the other one? Well, there's something nice about this because these are conjugates or conjugates. So their cube roots are also going to be conjugates. Therefore, this is going to be 2 minus i. And since we're looking for the sum, the cube root of 2 plus 11i plus cube root of 2 minus 11i is going to be 2 plus i plus 2 minus i. And we can go ahead and cancel the i out and get a real answer, the real deal. So the answer is 4. You don't believe that? Well, we're going to find out with the second method how this works out. Okay? So here's the second method. We have now the two cube roots, the sum of two cube roots. So why not? Set it equal to x, z, whatever. I mean, you can use z because z is a complex number. z is more complex looking, right? So let's go ahead and cube both sides. This might work, right? Well, again, we're going to cube a plus b. So we're going to cube the first term, cube the second term. And then what am I going to do? Plus 3ab. I'm going to multiply these two things. And I multiply by the sum, which is z, by the way, right? That sum is z, remember? This is z. Okay. This is supposed to equal z cubed. What does that give me? Hmm. These cancel out. And then 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 3 times. When you multiply these two, you get from difference of 2 squares under the radical, 4 minus 121. Are you serious? I wasn't expecting that. Okay. That is 117, negative 117. That's not good. And then z, if you didn't make any mistakes, of course, right? Let me try it again. 4 minus... Oh, no. It's 4 plus 120. Never mind. I forgot. It's the sum of two squares, not the difference. There you go. 4 plus 3 times 125. The cube root of 125 is 5. Yay, and then z, and then z cubed. This should be easy to solve. z cubed equals 15z plus 4. And you can make a guess, right? What would work? <laughs> well, 4 would work because 4 times 15 is 60. 6 plus 4 is 64. But again, using different ideas, factoring, rational theorem, you could easily find that z equals 4. That's very easy to guess and check. All right, let's go ahead and check Wolfram Alpha's result. Did I include it? Probably. Oops, sorry, I forgot. But yes, Wolfram Alpha can solve this problem correctly. Good job, Wolfram Alpha. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.